all the saints and sages and seers of the past have said, know thyself, know thyself. They became saints because they knew themselves. They passed through the process of exploring the truth about oneself. Know thyself, not merely at the intellectual level, that won't help. Know thyself at the actual level, that means the experiential level. What is this to which I say, I, I, I? This corporeal, physical, bodily structure? This mental structure? The combination of the two? Is this I? Tremendous amount of attachment towards this physical structure, the mental structure, by identifying oneself with it as I, I. And the resultant misery. When you identify yourself with the matter and the mind, and you develop attachment towards it, you start becoming tense, you start tying knots, and the misery starts. To accept it merely at the intellectual level, or even to accept it at the devotional level, because an enlightened person has said so, doesn't work at the actual level. You have to explore the truth, the reality of your entire being, the mind, the matter. From the surface level, the apparent grossest level, going deeper, 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 subtler, 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 subtlest level. This technique will help you to explore the truth of the entire field of matter, to explore the truth of the entire field of mind at the experiential level. If someone wants to realize the truth at the experiential level, one has to work within the framework of the body, not outside. So the technique will help you to explore the reality within the framework of your own body.